troops. Another early morning tent session. I've just uh, got here at first, well it was dark, but it was darkish when I got here. I've give us from a quick break. There's a lot of weed, surface weed and weed around, it's all moving. So I've cleared myself out of patch. It's nice and clear on the bottom. But I've also cleared a bit out around it. So if I do whack into any tench, they don't weed me up. So all ready to go, I say I've break the swim out. Break the swim out. Put a carpet of hemp and tears down. And then I'm going to fish over the top of that with corn. So, so I'm in no rush. I mean, I've just raked it out. Put some loose feed down. At normally half an hour to an hour after raking this place settles down. But so far this season it hasn't run to form at all in any description. So <laughs> I'm going to get set up and we get fishing and I'll show you the swim. Well, this is the swim. You've seen it a million times. There's the float. This be patch I've raked out. Weed to the right of me. Weed to the left of me. Weed in front of me. So I've got a little patch there, midstream. The only fishable bit of water along here at the moment. Nobody else has been raking swims out or fishing along here. For all the blanks I've posted, you are you know it's typical tractor business buyers I'm talking. I should about to say with all the blanks I've experienced along here this summer, is a little wonder. But it really is, I know I haven't put it in a good light really this summer, but it really is a cracking stretch when it fishes. Everyone going off to work and I'm sitting here. <laughs> yeah, so. Little bit of patchy cloud, not a lot. Could be a bright day, I think. Bit of cloud up there. You never can tell first thing in the morning. Bit of cloud over there. But I promise all this fish topping in my swim now. Hopefully the raking's work paid off. It's uh, hard to tell. <coughs> Promised the wife it'd only be a morning session, so that's the weed I pulled out this morning. So, so as always, if you haven't seen one of my videos before, it's a Lincolnshire drain, free fishing, all you need your environment agency rod license. And we're once again we're on the dreaded West Fen. Let's see if she produces for me this summer. <laughs> this summer. Summer's almost over this session. God, even a broken clock right twice a day. <laughs> Well, the sun is out. It's a lovely morning. Anything to report? No. <laughs> I've had one bite, very tentative. I've 
downstairs. The water's gin clear again. Even though we've had loads of rain this week, it's still gin clear. I've seen some nice roach, you know, like that, swimming around, but nothing at the moment. I'm fishing on the bottom. Once it gets, once that sun gets up and gets really warm, I shall change tactics and fish on the drop or mid water. See if there's any rudd around. But at the moment, once again, Kench and the bream are missing. You know, they're just not around. Maybe I should night fish it. I don't know. It's yeah, it's hard work at the moment along here. But the rewards can be great if you know if you get it right. So, you know, it's an early morning session. I've got a spare six, seven hours. Why not use it? So, come out this morning. So, I've come out this morning. Give it, give it another shot. Give it my best shot. 100% concentration. That's all you can do, really. You know, I mean, I could go somewhere else, but. You know, this, this stretch along here produces tench up to seven pounds. So, you know, some rivers and drains, you know, they top out three or four pounds. Here, I know I can catch tench. Well, <laughs> I said I know I can catch tench. <laughs> In previous seasons, I've, if I'm going back 20 years, I've caught plenty of six, seven pound fish, plenty, you know. And I'm not talking one or two, I'm talking like 10, 12, a morning session. And they're just not here. The bream, we've had out of this swim, up to 12, 12 pound 10. And they you know, they ain't putting a bit appearance. Not even the skimmers. So, it's really hard work. Can't explain it. I know I'm not doing anything wrong. I know my tactics are sound. I know the method is sound because it's produced in the past all the time. So... Something just out of kilter, whether it's the drought, I don't know. Whether it's, it could, you know, I mean, it could be the fact that I'm the only person fishing along this stretch. There's no bait going in, but that doesn't normally stop it fishing. You know, I, you know, I just can't fathom it really, but keep going. Stay positive. I'm not going to moan it. See, I mean, it is what it is. I could go somewhere else and fish easier venues and get results, but that's not what my fishing's about. You know, I like I like natural venues. I like I like the uh, the challenge. And at the moment, <laughs> I'm not up to the challenge, am I? Gordon Bennett. Well, we'll keep, we'll crack on. We'll see what we can catch, and then I'll let you know. As I say, I'll give an hour, another hour or two and then I should fish on the drop probably. See if there's any rod or roach in the upper layers. Because the tension, the bream on the deck, you know, they're not playing ball at the moment. But I mean, I gave the good swim a good rake out. I put some loose feed down, nothing. About an hour ago, I put in four or five big jaffers and straight away I got a bite, but then nothing again, so. I know the I know the videos might be getting a bit monotonous, but they're not they're not educational or tutorial or anything like that technical. So, you know they're really my just my angling journey throughout the year, my journal really. I go out every week virtually and I film just what happens and if nothing happens nothing happens <laughs> film paint drying <laughs> right let's get on let's catch some fish
and there we are just going to give it a little while fishing on the drop with a pole see if there's anything around I've seen really small fish pecking at the corn on the way down but they're that small it don't even register on the float and slowly drifting the bait down above the baited area and nothing so far I might try moving it around placing it in between the weed beds see if there's anything around there on the drop doesn't appear to be anything around not big enough to take the hook bait anyway absolutely nothing That's me done for another session. It's it's ten o'clock. It's bright sunshine. Water's crystal clear. We've had a hell of a lot of rain the other day, and it hasn't made a blind bit of no difference. It's still gin clear. It's I'd say a, a foot down on what it should be this time of year. The water level. It's gin clear, it's even shallower than it normally is. <laughs> and now the sun's out, I can, you know, when I stand up, I can see my ground bait. There's plenty of roach over the, over the baited area. But nothing. No tench, no bream. Uh, I had a good walk around this morning as well. It's not like I just jumped into this swim because it was easy. I walked the whole stretch along here. And there was bubbles, there was, I saw two fish roll. But it's so shallow, it's so clear, any disturbance and they're off, I think that's what it is. And so, uh, the other day I was, I, I dropped, dropped my son off into Boston, so I came past here in the middle of the afternoon, it was scorching hot two o'clock in the afternoon and the son had a little meeting in Boston so I dropped him off came up here fished for an hour two o'clock in the afternoon bright sunshine and I had a dozen rud all about half a pound all on the bottom so I think it's a disturbance I mean I've, I've gutted because I came I had no intention of fishing you know I had a couple of hours spare and between shifts and my son said oh, I've got a meeting so I thought well I'll drop him off it was a two hour meeting so I thought well no point me driving all the way to Boston all the way because I had a little fish and caught fish but he turned up and do it for the cameras is a different <laughs> kettle of fish <laughs> oh we're no fish <laughs> it's not the kettle so yep that's another session over with thanks for watching and we try and uh, catch something next time thanks very much Thank <laughs> you.